How's it? Aloha is your uncle, burpee yoga uncle. I've tried many furs, bamboo way, and a lot of Vietnamese food. Never had this quang style noodle, mi quang, and also this other noodle called the uh, bun ryu or tomato crab noodle. Here I am gonna try it. Uh, I do a lot of stuff on my channel aside from eating. I do a heck of a lot of uh, burpees. I travel around, I drive around, I do how-tos, I do interviews, uh, that's all part of me. Uh, YouTube wants to segment you into one thing, which is great for some channels, but me, I get around doing a lot of different stuff. So please hit that like and subscribe button if you want something different, and uh, please help me get to 2,000 subscribers, it's only a number. And thank you for checking me out and uh, I'll let you know what I think of these two noodles that I've never ever tried before. And here we go. Fitness, foodies, and the fabulous absurd. From burpees to camu, you're never gonna know what you're gonna get from your unk, burpee yoga uncle. All right, your unk, burpee yoga uncle. So first of all, uh, I tried uh, my my noodle that I ordered. Actually, is the mi kuang or the or the, the flat noodle with the with the with the shrimp and the peanuts and whatnot. And uh, I talked to the lady who is uh, serving us, and uh, this noodle is actually not served a lot around the country of USA where I'm at because uh, this is a dish that's actually very popular in the middle of Vietnam between uh, Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi. So uh, unless you go to the middle of, uh, of uh, Vietnam, you ain't gonna get this dish. So I tried it and my first impression was, uh, it tastes a little bit like pho, but a less intense taste. Um, the flat noodle reminds me of uh, chow fun noodle that uh, the Chinese or Cantonese noodle make. Um, there was really no distinct flavor that I can recall. It's not as intense as a pho or a bumble whey or spicy. It was an okay noodle. Um, I, I mean, but to be honest, I can't really tell. I can't really tell you. This sounds terrible, and don't don't make. I hope I don't get anybody mad. But I mean, I probably would not order this noodle again. It was an interesting try. Uh, I thank for the try. It's about the reason why I tried it is because it has turmeric. And that's a, a spice that's number one, not normal in Vietnamese cuisine that I'm aware of. It's very popular, I mean, globally, especially in Indian food and um, a, lot, a lot of Middle East food. There's a lot of turmeric in there and it's very good for your health. And that's one of the reasons why that I chose to uh, uh, have this noodle. Uh, but um, aside from the yellow color of the soup, um, I couldn't really taste the turmeric. Well, well I'm, not, I'm not sure I'm supposed to taste it or not. But uh, that's, I mean, that's the reason why I tried it, right? You always want to try new things. Uh, obviously, you know, you always want to eat your favorites that you like to eat. But for me, I always want to try new things. And I mean, if I didn't want to try new things, I would have got the bumbu way on, uh, on this particular restaurant that I had. And then the second uh, dish that uh, my better half had was the um, tomato soup noodle. Uh, I'm gonna uh, mess up the name. It's a bun ryu or tomato crab noodle. And um, uh, if you look at the picture, I'll put the picture. Uh, my wife was looking for the crab, <laughs> and basically, there's a, they make it into like a crab ball. So if you look at the picture, it's on the lower lower right hand corner of the picture. There's the crab ball. <laughs> And then I, we, we thought that um, when we got this noodle that it was going to be like a tomato soup kind of thing and with a noodle. But in, when in actuality, it's still basically like a kind of like a far-based soup. And they just threw a couple pieces of tomato in it. Uh, there was a lot of uh, noodles, the, uh, uh, the, the rice noodles. Uh, the pork blood, my wife didn't like, so I ate that. Uh, it's a... Uh, I don't know. The soup was okay. Again, I I can't remember what it tastes like. So again, does that make it good or bad? I don't know. But we were really disappointed at the crab balls or the crab meat noodle. And and even when you chew a bite into those crab balls, there 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 weren't much taste in the crab ball. I mean, I they could have given us fish balls with some fish and crab, and we wouldn't be able to tell the difference. 
Um, so all in all, it was interesting to try both dish. And again, for this particular uh, tomato crab noodle, would I order it again? And my qu my answer would be again, probably not. Um, my understanding is that apparently this is pretty popular and you can find it a lot in uh, Southern California. But uh, I don't know, I never specifically look for it. But maybe next time when I go to a Vietnamese restaurant in Cali, I would go and try it. But then what are the chances I would go to a Vietnamese restaurant in California to, to eat pho in general? Because you know, where I'm at, we've got pretty good pho. If I'm going to go to a Vietnamese restaurant in uh, Cali, I'll be eating escargot or their or their snails or other dishes that I've never tried before. Like I told you, be adventurous in life. You always want to try different things. Well, for me anyway, I always want to try different food and different things that I could eat that uh, otherwise I might not be able to. Uh, hopefully you get a chance to do that too. Uh, you know, we live 24 hours and uh, many thousands of hours later and on many hours later on planet Earth, uh, you know, it's temporary. We're not here forever. So I try to have, ex have as much experience as I can. And that's what I try to do in my life. Uh, being on the back nine times not on my side. So for all you young ones, try something new that's legal. Always get experience in everything and anything. Your uncle, repeat yoga uncle.